joined by Gloucester North End manager Richard Brody uh, after the side fell to a, a last minute uh, defeat here at home to Chatterton. Uh, Brody, you perfect performance for 95 and a half minutes, but uh, once again, it's one mental error that has cost us the point. How, how proud are you and how pleased are you with the performance that we, we gave for 95 and a half minutes there today? I think I'm hurt more than anything. I think I'm, I think I hope it hurts. just said to them, I hope it hurts you as much as it does me that because you play a game to win and regardless of anything that's gone on before that, I said to them before the game, we've been good in certain games. Um, fine margins of football that we keep lo we keep losing by fine margins, and it's another one today. It, it you know, I said cut out individual errors, and we'll be we'll be better for it. Um, you know I, I think Ellis will hold his hands up and, and, and say he's, he's he's made a rush of blood. But having said that, he's come for every other one, and he's made it. He's come for that one and, and missed. Just said to Joe, could, could you have cleared it? And he, you know he said Ellis shouted, but. I mean, let's be honest, I'm going to be totally honest here, maybe brutally honest, the, the way they've celebrated that shows, that performance shows a lot more about us than it does them and the difference in the league table. Absolutely, as you say, you, against the side who will who will end today in uh, in third place after the three points that they picked up here, um, you know, we, we, we certainly kind of stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. Another another game where we, we might have to mention sort of referee decisions, I mean, he said there was nothing in the game until... 37 minutes when uh, when the referees uh, again potentially the only player or only person in the ground who, who, who sees that foul as a, as a red card and uh, issued a red card to Jay uh, on 37 minutes and we're, we're up against it and we're battling from there. Um, Jay, Jay's, Jay's adamant that he hasn't touched him. That's fine. I, I believe Jay. Um, I, I didn't see that. I've just seen Jay slide in. He's gone to win the ball. Their centre forwards screamed which you know all good centre forwards do so fair play to him on that behalf but can the ref use a bit of common sense because before that there's not a tackle in the game um, he's lost it from that minute previous to that who was the better side it was us 11 v 11 we were the better side hands down um, but again we haven't took chances when we need to um, and then that happens but after that there's, there's so many decisions that are on par if not worse than what Jay's been sent off for yeah obviously, obviously you can't say too much but I mean Certainly, from my perspective, when, when I was watching, there's a, you know the, the the fullback goes to the back of Abdul again. Abdul, in fair play to him, you know kept, keeps his cool under, under a lot of pressure today. Obviously, you know after his issues uh, last week, and uh, again right in front of what I'm stood watching, uh, the number ten, who ironically ends up putting the ball in the back of net from their penalty. Elbows uh, Connell in the face. That the assistant referee's flagging that the referee goes across and only gives 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 the yellow card. So a frustrating day, but I think on the positive side, look, we've seen Ryan Katumba back for the first time since mid-November. We've seen Will Hartchin get his first minute since since early early October so it must be pleasing that we're getting players back into the squad and we we, we go again on Tuesday yeah by the way in the, the 10 just hasn't elbowed that that whoever it was in the face it was Connell, it yeah, was Connell. Connell. he's also put a two footer tackle in um, off the floor um, right by our dugout that wasn't punished um, I, I've been yellow carded for my having my hands in my pockets for stopping our bench from going to their bench and not one of their 22 that were around me got booked so I just want to clarify that. So I know the league were here today. I, I hope they've watched it and, and seen what sometimes that we have to put up with because I feel hard done by myself as well because I feel I, I'm getting I'm getting punished for having my hands in my pockets and I could have retaliated but I didn't. I've tried to stop my players from leaving the technical area but they had at least 20 leaving their technical area. Um, yes, Ryan's come back. Uh, great to have Will Hartston back as well, the pair of them coming back into the squad. I thought as a group, as a you know, when we went down to ten, we went four four one and just had two banks of four. And and as has Ellis had a save to make, apart from the, the cross that he's come for that nearly went in off Bevan. Bevan's recovered to it. So I'm I'm saying about discipline. I've asked us to be disciplined in our shape off the ball. And we have and you know, we've created a couple of half chances. We've we've nearly caught them on the break when they send the numbers forward. But at the end of the day, you, you play to win, and we've lost again. We have, but uh, Paddy uh, in uh, midweek. So Tuesday night here at the Asgard Stadium, we've got uh, Paddy. Um, I think a very different uh, test to what we've kind of kind of faced today, but, but, but a test nonetheless, and uh, hopefully a chance for us to uh, turn those five margins in our favour and hopefully to get to get, to get get something out of the back of the game. Hopefully, I think I said it last week. If if the boys are honest, as they have been, hard working. And, and committed, which they are, by the way, they are. Um, I don't think, don't think many teams would have would have put a performance in like that when having ten men for so long and, and being so resolute. And you know, you, you can understand if they've had to hit the post at the ball. They haven't. They haven't created an opportunity against us. Um, Ninety-six minute penalty hurts. Uh, would have rather got beat six, to be honest. 
if if if, if you want to be, be completely honest. But at some point, our look has to change. At some point, the decision has to go in our favour. It has to. It can't not because <laughs> we're doing everything right apart from winning. Um, so we go again Tuesday. I keep saying it. We will go again. It's going to be a tough month, and you know we have got players back. We'll have players back for Tuesday as well. So regroup. Disappointing. Get tonight out of the way and start again tomorrow. Absolutely. But and, and as, as you heard, you know, the, the the team got a really good round of applause when they when they left. The fans were singing Crossup's name. I think that that's testament to the effort that the team put in today. They were well set up, well organised, and uh, we move on to Tuesday. Thanks for your time, bros, and we'll speak to you on Tuesday night. Fans are brilliant. Our fans, fantastic. They're in the bar there now. You, you've got your fans coming up to you and saying, but I, you know, we're happy. But and, and I get it, but I also don't get it because I, I want to win. And sometimes I'd rather us be a little bit poorer and win if that sounds daft. But yeah, we'll go again Tuesday. Let's go and have a pint, Ian, and you know, enjoy tonight as much as we possibly can. But we'll go again Tuesday. Cheers, bro. See you Tuesday night. Bye.